Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Sienna Limited all-wheel drive. Now the most notable features on the Limited is its power sliding rear doors, its power liftgate, and its heated front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Sienna Limited all-wheel drive. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on the Limited model is its auto daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then taking a look just on the front bumper there you're going to see your parking sensors and then over on the side you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Taking a look on your mirrors here you have your integrated signal lamps as well as your heated mirrors and on the inside of the mirror here you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator it'll actually light up just alerting you that there is another vehicle right beside you. The other nice thing with the limited models it does have that um, smart key system with it so with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines see here on the handle push on it once it'll lock all the doors automatically and then if you put your hand between the handle here to unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And just to give you an idea of what your second row is going to look like, I'm just going to close in on it for you. You have your second row captain seats, and then taking a look above here, you also have an additional moonroof in the back here just so your kids can enjoy the uh, night sky while you're driving. You have your DVD player, and then on the inside here you're going to find the uh, button to close the power sliding rear door. Now parents, if you're worried about your kids possibly jamming their hand in the door just while it's closing, the one thing that's really nice with the uh, Limited Sienna is it has the jam protection on it, so in the event that there is an obstruction in the way, it'll actually open up uh, automatically again. Now all you have to do to close it is just pull on the handle again, and it will close automatically for you. You have your roof rack, and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is pre-dawn gray. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your light grey leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you're going to see your traction control on and off, your parking sensors on and off, blind spot mooring on and off, and your heated steering wheel on and off. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your seat memory controls for your driver 1 and 2, power folding mirror button. Mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls both through front and rear windows. Now a couple of the uh, controls you'll see here on the steering wheel are your volume control, scroll function mode select, you have your voice recognition, Bluetooth, and then you have your scroll function for your multi-informational display along with your cruise control. And as you can see you have the uh, wood grain trim accented throughout the rest of the vehicle. Now one of the nice things as well with the limited models, it does have that push button start, so all you have to do is hit the push button and then, or sorry, put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, then it'll start up for you. Now you have your distance to empty as well as a digital speedometer and a couple of other additional features which include an all-wheel drive monitor. And then scrolling through you can go through your navigation, your audio, your messages, and then your settings so you can personalize everything for yourself. At the very top of the screen you're also going to find your exterior temperature gauge. Now we're going to be taking a look now at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. If we actually head into your apps menu, you're going to see your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. You also have that premium JBL sound system. Down below you have your temperature control settings for your dual zone climate control with your rear temperature controls located down below. As of 2017 it's now matted to a 8 speed automatic transmission. Taking a look down below here, you have your USB and auxiliary with your two heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, your power outlet, DVD player, and an additional power outlet just located down below. You have your auto dimming rear view mirror with your integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And then a couple of the controls you'll see at the top here is your power lift gate opener, power sliding rear doors open and closed, and then your open and closed for your power moonroof with your sunglass case holder. And in the event that you uh, do need to keep an eye on the kids just while you're driving, you do have an additional mirror just located on the inside there. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on your rear bumper, you're going to see your rear parking sensors just located right across. On the back of your tailgate, you're going to find your backup camera just located on your left-hand side. Rear hatch release will be located just underneath your Sienna emblem here. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Taking a look just over on your right hand side, you're going to see your two power outlets on the back here just so that your uh, uh, third row passenger sorry, can plug in their digital devices. 
Now you have a 60-40 split uh, third row, so in the event that you do need a little bit of extra cargo space, all you have to do to fold down the seats is just push the button on the headrests here, fold it down, then pull in the middle piece here, fold it down to the floor, and then just pull the flap up, just make sure it's nice and flat, just so that any cargo that you do put down there is like being tilted up a little bit. Now, with that in mind, if you do need still uh, some passenger capacity, you can have either the 60 side up or the 40 side up. Now, if you do need to fold the seats back up, the instructions, uh, sorry, the instructions are just located on the back of the seat here. But all you need to do is just pull on the middle piece here, make sure it does lock in itself into place, and then just pull up on the back here, just using the uh, strap on the side here, and tilt it to the desired position. Now, if you do not get it tilted back far enough, it is just going to go back down. So just make sure you tilt it back far enough and then release. The nice thing with this is that you can have the seats tilted back a little bit more just so your third row passenger is comfortable. You do have some additional storage space just located on the side here. And the other nice thing I like with the limited models, it does have that power lift gate. So in the event that your hands are full and you can't quite close the tailgate, all you have to do is push on the button and it will close automatically for you. Now, one of the things I like with this scene is it has a lot of room for your everyday needs, just if you need some cargo capacity as well as some passenger uh, capacity as well. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005 or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.